Hi, I'm Rob from Ski Press and I'm here at the Ski and Snowboard Show at Ells Court to check out what's going on this week. I've come along to the Atomic Stand and I'm with Finley Mickel, Olympic ski racer and all-round skiing legend. Finley, how are you doing? Very well, thanks, yeah. You've got an you've got a Atomic Alibi ski there. Is that, uh, is that something you ski on yourself? This is what I've got for, for myself next season for on the slopes. We tested this a lot with Atomic last year and this was my favourite being out on the slope. If you want to have something that you can play around on the slope, carve up the groomers and then go off piste and get the same flotation that you expect for something a lot wider, this is a ski for me. It's only 98 mil underfoot and it's got a titanium backbone running through it. So when I put my weight down and I want something that feels like an old Alpine racer ski on the groomers, it's all there for me. And then when I go off piste, I'm getting a lot of flotation from this early rise for the, the all mountain rocker that we have on this twin tip. Okay, I skied on it myself last winter and I really enjoyed it and I can genuinely say that it was one of the, my favourite skis of last year. So, um, you know, I, I enjoy skiing a little bit off piste and on piste. Is it something, what sort of level of skier is it going to suit most, do you think? I think between an intermediate to an advanced skier, someone that really sees themselves going off and enjoying that powder and is wanting to charge and get that flotation to be up on top of it. And then someone that's one of, you know, if you've, you're into touring as well, you can run a touring binding, the Tracker 16 on this and it's a, the one ski quiver for me. If you had one choice of ski that you wanted to take away with you and you didn't know what the conditions were going to be like, but you enjoy all of the mountain, touring binding, set of skins in your rucksack, this is a ski for me. There's not a day that you regret having this on your feet. Right, so these days, do you, do you spend a lot of time backcountry and skiing off piece yourself, or are you mainly, co I know you coach for the, the Scottish ski racing team, so do you, do you mix and match it a little bit? I, I mix it up. Uh, I, I enjoy the mountain in all different ways. Um, when, I'm a, when I'm away with the Scottish ski team, I'm up working on courses, talking technique, helping our young you know, racers develop their style. When I'm at home in Scotland, I really look out towards the back quarries of Cairngorm or over the back of Nevis Range and uh, ski those deep, deep great lines that we get when the snow's there and yeah. tour out. Okay. So I like having a good touring set up off the back of the Scottish resorts. What's your favourite place to ski in the whole world? Oh, this is such a hard one. I think for me right now, because I stay at home with my kids and I'm based in Scotland, I'd have to say Scotland is right now. And I'd say my best experience of skiing last year was touring to the top of the Cairngorm Mountains where the weather station is, towing my five-year-old son behind me. And that was just such a great experience, not only for myself, but for my son, for his first time in May, with the perfect snow conditions, blue sky, no wind in Scotland, and it was just phenomenal. So last year, it was Cairngorm Mountain touring. Sounds great. I mean, I've skied in Scotland quite a lot myself, and I, I love it up there on a good day. It's some of the best skiing ever, you know, if you've got good snow and good weather. I've got a three-year-old daughter, so maybe I should start on Ken Gorm with her this winter. Is that... the, the, I think you can have really good experiences on the mountains in Scotland, but you've got to pick that right weather patch. You've got to make sure it's good. And I think now with uh, what you can see online and the webcams is so much better, you can really pick a good bit of weather. You know that the slope's looking good and you get up there, you can really enjoy it. And to have a, a positive experience for the younger kids, you want them up there when it's not windy. Yeah. Because uh, you know if they're up there and they're getting cold and it's really windy, you can, you can do the opposite. So you want it to be a good experience, you want to pick the right weather, and then it just can be phenomenal. So um, Atomic this year, what are you doing with Atomic, and what is there anything new coming through for this winter other than the Alibi? Um, the Alibi is one of our, 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 big, our big ones, it's one of my favourites, but our Redster range is huge. The new technology in the boots for the racers, you know, the, the young British racer has got a boot designed for Marcel Herscher that's working for our young racers, much stiffer and for the first time has carbon fibre up the back of the boot, which makes all that acceleration feel you get at the end of the turn, you can control it because the rear of the boot is much stiffer. And our Redster racing range is doing great as ever. There's a lot of great performances. When you go out to the British Championships and you look at the podium, you know, it's, it's very heavily stocked with our Atomic product. So I always enjoy watching the, the, the young racers on the new Redster range ripping, up, ripping it up on the slopes. Okay. Thanks, Finley. It's been really good catching up and hearing about Atomic and what's going on this winter. Thanks very much. Okay, thank you. Okay, thanks.